let me be the first one to tell you in this video it's going to be a little strange. It's going to be formatted a little poorly. This video is probably going to be all over the place because Monica Real's tweets, really her actions are kind of all over the place right now. So reporting on it is a bit difficult. There's some DMs that some people have had with Monica apparently, and some of those are kind of out of order. And she's just been making all kinds of tweets today on Twitter. So we're going to take a look at that in this video. Just prepare yourself. I'll see you after the intro. It's going to be a weird one. Welcome back. So Monica Real, what a day for Monica, apparently. Don't know why. The hearing's tomorrow. Is she nervous about that? Maybe the TCPA hearing is is tomorrow. Maybe she's nervous about that. I really don't know. But um, take a look at this. This is Monica Real's tweets and replies. We're not going to read them just yet, really. I mean, you can read them if you're on screen and you're able to. But what I really want to show you here is uh, just the sheer volume. The sheer volume of tweets today. Uh, as you can see, it goes on and on and on. Here's from an hour ago, an hour ago, an hour ago, two hours ago. Uh, not even the three hours yet. There we go. Three hours. Uh, I got to start scrolling faster. Four hours, four hours. I, I got to load. It's going, there's so much it has to load more. Six hours. Like the, you can see, okay, now we're finally at like 20 hours, 20 hours. And, uh, well, there you go. Almost, almost 24 hours ago now. There we go. Okay. So that is kind of a lot of tweets to be making today. Um, but like I said, we aren't necessarily reading them just yet, but let's go do that. Let's read these tweets. Starting with this one it says, I'm going to leave you all with one last thought and then I'm getting offline for the weekend. The anime community has always meant the world to me. Our fans are the best and I've loved meeting you all at shows. Bet you really loved meeting them 20 miles away from Kamehameha Con when they plan on meeting you there, right? Oh, but let's not talk about that. Our fans are the best and I've loved meeting you at all. Uh, love meeting you all at shows. It breaks my heart that our community has been targeted. <laughs> targeted by you guys. You're the people that did this. You did this. We would have just been watching anime. Had no idea about any of this stuff. You guys did this. Take responsibility. There are people actively working to rip this community apart. So what, what community specifically? Are you talking about the anime community as a whole? Because absolutely that is... Uh, you know, if, if anyone's ripping it apart, like I said, look in the mirror. If you're talking about your community, well, probably also look in the mirror because you're dragging them into this stuff. You're dragging them into this mess. So she writes, I haven't been able to speak up because of the lawsuit, but hopefully soon I will be able to share the truth with you all. Yeah, we've only been waiting going on eight months for that, you know. Maybe you should have displayed the truth before there was even a litigation. If these things actually happened to you, maybe you should have went to the PD with the evidence, the truth that you're kind of alluding us to now that you have some truth to reveal. You know, if you had that, you could have avoided this whole situation by just bringing that forward to begin with, because that's really all we wanted. In, to begin with, all we wanted was really truth. It's a bit more than that now. A lot of us are just sick of you guys, to be honest. We're sick of having people like that in positions of power in this industry because they just use us. They don't care about us at all. They really don't in my opinion. Anyways, so then she says, until then, don't rely on other people for information. Read the documents yourself. Now, that's actually not bad advice. I, I, I agree. Reading the documents is a good idea. Time consuming, but a good idea. Um, but it's just ironic. You know, she says, don't rely on other people as she's trying to spin a narrative. Basically, we're going to look at other stuff too after this. But let's read this one. I don't want to scroll too much because that gif is kind of weird. So she writes here, we cannot let people who don't even care about anime tear our community apart for their own agenda. We cannot let them turn us against each other. I swear when this is over, I will do everything I can to reunite this community. I hope that you'll be by my side. You see, here's what's going on in my opinion. We're the ones reuniting this community. We're the ones that are finding out what exactly happened at the top with these companies and how absolutely unprofessional and pathetic they are run. We're finding out that people in positions of power in this industry don't care about anime. Are you one of those people, Monica? Are you one of those people who pretends like you care, but you really don't care about anime at all? Are you one of those people? How can you tell, how do you get to be the one to choose who's a real anime fan or not? Just like that tweet the other day from, I believe it was Marky, where she said, oh, the true anime fans support uh, Rial and, and myself or whatever. 
Isn't that weird? Kind of similar dialogue there. What, did you two talk about that behind the scenes? Oh, you know what? Those other people are not even anime fans. If they don't like us, they're not anime fans. Coming from the same person whose deposition she went off Riel and was talking about how her roles are like all the best girls. My gosh, how petty is that? Yeah, all my roles are best girls, by the way. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Like, you got to prop yourself up and then talk down to us. And then you have the audacity to say that you want to reunite this community as you're talking down to said community. Are you kidding me? Then there's this DM, courtesy of Gentleman Jack. And let me reiterate what I said in the beginning of this video. This is going to be a weird, sloppy video. I like to kind of format my videos so they kind of move along and make sense, if, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? This video is kind of not that case. We're just going to be skipping around. So this is weird, too. Let's take a look at this. It reads... I'm so sorry that happened to you, Hart. In the beginning, I said that if Vic would get help and go to counseling, I would forgive him. But that was before he sued me, my fiance, my BF, which I'm going to assume means best friend. But who knows with these people <laughs> and the company I work for. Not only that, he is friendly with the same people who have been threatening us since January. He could have distanced himself from those people, but instead he chose to stand by them as they did that to us. I know he's pulling the shots, so no, I can never forgive him for what he's done to me and my loved ones. Maybe that will change someday, but right now I don't ever want to see his face again. Well, you might be seeing him when you try to settle. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just kidding kidding around a little bit there. But no, what what is what is this, man? So it says that, you know, she would have forgiven Vic. Well, she wanted he could have distanced himself from those people, but instead he chose to stand by them. What do you... I know he's pulling the shots. This, like, this doesn't even make sense to me, man. If he's pulling the shots... Like, uh, she, on one hand, she's blaming it on a group of people that are doing these things, but then she's blaming it on Vic and saying he's the one pulling the shots. It's weird. You know, what, what, the, what the takeaway from this is seems pretty clear, though. Uh, she probably would have just wished that Vic didn't do anything and that they could have continued to disparage him, and he wouldn't do anything. That's the implication I'm getting. Make your own opinion on that one. Um, I'm going to see what else I can dig up for you guys. Let's take a look. Another DM, courtesy of Gentleman Jack. Once more, thank you, buddy. So, you know, we were talking about Vic a little bit at the end of that last one. Well, looks like we might have been onto something. Take a look at this. Reads, the thing that sucks for us is that we really are a family. Let me stop right there. Let me stop right there. Did you guys watch the video I made? Uh, I don't know when I'm releasing this video, to be honest. I might release it uh, tomorrow, the day after I'm actually recording it. Probably that's what I'm going to do. So let me ask you if you've seen the video that I made regarding uh, Nadalny and the transcription I did of that podcast. Nadalny, in that, uh, in that video, in that podcast that I transcribed, she mentioned how the Funimation click was kind of like a family. We're getting pieces of this puzzle over time and the picture is slowly becoming more and more clear. This matches up with what Nadalny said, the family part specifically. Let's see what the rest of this reads, though. Again, the thing that sucks for us is that we really are a family, especially the Dragon Ball cast. And yet the whole community has turned on us because of a guy who was in three movies. That's all Vic is to you, right? Just a guy who was in three movies. With just a guy in three movies. How dare Vic? You know, this again reminds me of the deposition when Monica was complaining about credits. Oh, you know, my name wasn't even on the credits. Like, dude, I'm sorry. I see, uh, I see very selfish actions. I see very egotistical actions. I don't see the actions of someone who genuinely cares about the anime community like she was painting earlier. That's just my opinion. Let's finish reading this. And yet the whole community has turned on us because of a guy who is in three movies. It's frustrating. We feel betrayed by the community we love. How do you think we feel? You know, you sound like such a jerk when you're making a statement like that. How do you think we feel? I was ranting about this yesterday. Sean of Goku, Goku's VA. I looked up to that guy, man. Goku's still my favorite character. I still, I still really like Sean's work, even as Goku, even though I, dis I absolutely dislike his personality. I think he does good work as Goku's VA. How do you think we feel? People we looked up to, people we thought were amazing and great and played these characters that are amazing and great and we thought maybe they were a little bit like those characters and how wrong we were. You guys are nothing like those characters. You are, as a matter of fact, the opposite. You're the opposite of those characters, basically. And again, that's my opinion, um, but I, I just can't believe it, man. It says, we feel betrayed by the community. So yeah, it hurts on both sides. It will get better, though. 
the license isn't going anywhere, but there will be a new Broly. Well, you sound pretty confident about that, but we'll see. We'll see about that. And, you know, even if you guys keep the license, have fun. When you're, you've destroyed tons of goodwill, have fun with that license. Let's see if it's as lucrative for you as it has been over all these years. This one's cut off a little bit. Let me read you uh, what the top says. The rest of it you'll be able to see just fine, though. So it reads, Please skip this post if you don't care about the drama. I have to correct this. In no way was I validating Stephanie's claims against Sabbath. I've known her for years, and she never mentioned anything to me about Sabbath. I was concerned about her arrest records getting out. You were so concerned about those records getting out that you just decided to mention that she has arrest records. You just, you just boosted that to all your followers. Yeah, there you go. Another perfect display of how insincere, in my opinion, this person really is. Oh my gosh. Are you, are you kidding me? I can't believe she even did that. So if you don't know what that's about, that's alluding to, I guess, this, uh, this discussion here. We're going to take a look at this right now. And this is referring to Nadalny, Stephanie Nadalny, who allegedly had been liking um, on her Twitter profile. I mean, her Twitter profile really was liking these things. I saw it. But then they're alleging that it was hacked. I don't believe that it was hacked. Um, she hasn't outright said that she was not hacked yet. But the evidence really points uh, in the direction that she wasn't hacked and that that was fabricated. Someone pulled her profile picture, made a fake account, sent fake messages pretending to be her. That's certainly where the evidence looks like it's laying at. But, you know. Uh, we don't know for sure yet. We kind of need Stephanie to confirm one way or the other. But, you know, don't pressure her to come forward. Anyways, that's the backstory with this, more or less. So this reads, What's all this about Stephanie? I never knew any of this. At least she's never mentioned it to me. The response from Monica, I'd rather not discuss it if that's okay. I really like Stephanie, and I'm sad that Chuck's affidavit has forced this information out. That, you know, she, that's a little vague, to be fair. Maybe she didn't mean it the way I'm thinking. But the way I'm taking this and the way a lot of people are is that she's kind of hope she kind of wanted uh, the, the stuff that Huber brought up in the affidavit to stay under the rug. Like that's on the table now. It's not under the rug anymore. And the implication here, in my opinion, is that she didn't want that to come out. Are you kidding me? So, it, it, I mean, that, that goes back to the issues that we have with you guys. We feel like you guys are taking advantage of us. You're using your power to just further uh, each other and you don't really care about the industry. And what makes it so much worse is that you pretend you do. That's what makes it so much worse. You pretend you do. You act, you know, you act one way. Anyways, I'm sorry. I, I'm ranting a lot this video, but you can, you can see why. I'm sure this is upsetting for you guys too. So she says, I'd rather not discuss it if that's okay. I'm, I really like Stephanie and I'm sad that Chuck's affidavit has forced that information out. Response, I understand. Monica's response, thank you. I'm really upset right now. I thought she was my friend. And then the response uh, from the person is, I understand. So... There you go. This is the rest of that post. Let's finish it up. It says, This case doesn't involve her, and yet people decided to drag her into it and air her dirty laundry. It sucks, it's cruel, and you should be ashamed. She has not even confirmed that pic of the DM floating around was actually written by her. Uh, let me just reiterate, you are literally airing that dirty laundry. You are. You have, like, what, over 10,000 followers? I forget what Monica has. I really do. Uh, but you are putting that out there for all of them right now. <laughs> like literally so hypocritical and if you don't realize you did that you need some more self-awareness you really do maybe some more sympathy maybe some more empathy i don't know so then she writes also i have no idea if there will be more dragon ball wait didn't we just see that she wasn't didn't, didn't she say that they weren't losing the license i mean that's two different statements that there will be more dragon ball and that they'll have the license still but that kind of conflicts a little bit that's also weird like i said man i don't know what's going on with monica today this whole thing's weird I certainly hope there is, who doesn't, but the voice actors would be the last to know. That said, if there is, of course, there will be a new Broly for obvious reasons. And to the, quote, fans, unquote, who reach out looking for comfort, only to try to twist my words and use them against me, you're disgraceful. I love the fans and want to be able to speak with them privately, but you've ruined that for them. I hope you're happy. You know what? If you love your fans, maybe you shouldn't keep discussing this drama with them. If you want to talk to your fans, make it about anime. You say you care about anime, make it about anime. Why do you got to make it about Vic and drama again? And I'm getting worked up, guys, because this is this is ridiculous. It really is. The lack of self-awareness is absurd. It is. It's to the point where I'm surprised Vic was even friends with this person, really. And no shade at Vic. But my gosh, man. How? 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 <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Uh, she then writes, to the fans, I love you all dearly. I'm... Sorry you've had to endure this drama. I promise you that when this is all over, I'm going to work to bring our community together. 
this has been heck on all of us and i just want to go back to chatting with you guys and having fun to clarify i felt portrayed because okay i think we read that part she was liking tweets that were inflammatory against me but it turns out her twitter was hacked actually i don't know if we read that so here's something absolutely deplorable from her you you, you, thought, you thought we were done no 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 we're not done at all let me let me show you something here monica here writes it turns out her twitter was hacked the only evidence that her twitter was hacked is like i've already explained in this video a dm exchange from an account uh, on facebook that was allegedly made like a day before that dm came out it's very very likely that someone ripped stephanie's picture made a fake account and set up fake dms to spread this narrative about a hack the only evidence of a hack if you can even call it evidence is this picture going around of a dm a dm from someone using stephanie's profile picture whether it's her or not saying that she was hacked it's just a dm now i had to emphasize that because if we go back to her first tweet right here where she says she has not even confirmed that the pic of the dm floating around was actually written by her that's literally the same situation as the dm floating around of her claiming that she was hacked monica is spinning this narrative in the face of everybody including the people she says are the fans that she cares about she's spreading this twisted narrative to them too so let me ask you if you are a fan of monica and you really don't like me and you're watching this video for some reason do you really think she cares about you i'm explaining to you very clearly why this is a very weird shady situation you don't need to like me but at least at least listen to what i'm saying here she is saying for the, just, just to finalize it the dm where stephanie talks about the terrible things that happened to her she says that's fake it's just a dm floating around but the same exact situation a dm floating around that helps her narrative oh you believe that they're the same it's just a picture of a dm but she says confidently that one's you know hasn't even been confirmed the other one hasn't been confirmed either but she's acting like that's real. I'm sorry, man, but this is just too much. Alrighty, my friends, I'm done with this video. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I didn't think I was going to rant that much throughout that video. Kind of just happened. A natural progression, so to speak. Uh, but I, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. I really do. Um, I don't have shout outs because I actually just released a video 30 minutes ago. And I, in that video, I mentioned how we got shout outs, even though I was surprised for that one. But this is uh, even more extreme. So I will give some shout outs in the next video, guys. Thank you so much for your support. I'm not even going to run the outro. I need to get off the internet for a bit myself today after all this stuff, man. This is just, like I said, it's too much. It's too much. I'll catch you guys later. I hope you guys are also taking care of yourselves. Yeah. Um, peace.